there, what's going on? I am V from V Love and Crystals. I hope you're well by the time you see this video. I send you love and light. Guess what? Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading courtesy of the lovely Sharice who supported my channel recently. I am so happy. Thank you so much for choosing me. And so this topic is, will I marry the person I want to have a family with? So if you have the same question in mind, I'm gonna shuffle for all the piles. I have one, two, and three. Please do uh, connect with intuition before you choose the piles. Uh, I'm gonna have them ready for you with the timestamps. I'm gonna shuffle my many, many cards here. And while you're at it, please um, consider leaving a comment below so I can know that you visit it and say hello to Sharice who brought this question to us. All right, I'm gonna get started. Thank you again, Sharice, for this awesome question. Hopefully I can help a lot of people out, including yourself, and let's get started. All right, friends, I am ready for your card reveals. Okay, pile number one, you're going to get the black tourmaline for protection. Number two, you're going to get the purple amethyst. Good for sleeping, clearing your mind, calming your mind. And number three, the white amplifier crystal. It amplifies all the other crystals. It's like a buddy system. All right. So this is how it works. If you're new, take a deep breath in and out. Which pile is calling your name? If you can't watch the full video, please do choose the pile that really strikes you. <laughs> the one that says, call me or reveal me, reveal me. The time stamps for each pile is down below one, two, and three. Pause the video if you need to take more, more moments to really connect with the intuition to choose. All right, thank you so much. Timestamps are always waiting with the cards that I, I use every day. Number one, let's go. So, number one, how are you? Let me know in the comments. What are you doing this summer so far? And before we get started, I would love to invite you to join our memberships. It's a way to exchange energy for energy with me. It's a way to give back to the channel if you like what you see. And I thank you in advance for choosing me. Okay, so there's a reason why this black tourmaline is here. This is you needing to protect your relationship. You need to respect it more, work on it more, build stronger foundation, something more stable. That's what I'm getting with this. All right, so pawn number one, we have trust issues, euphoria. This is like joy, bliss, good moments. We have victim blaming others. I want to tell you so many things. Betrayal, sacred journeys, seek out stability. Things will be unclear. Boundaries, humility, overcoming adversity. Humble, humbleness. All right, so what I'm getting for this is that, okay, you and your person, you can achieve bliss. You can achieve marriage, coming together, growing together, blossoming together. But you have a lot of work to do, okay? There's a lot of trust issues. Yeah, look, trust issues. There's a lot of um, burdens and things that have been done in the past that it's like, it's like eating you guys away or it's like on the forefront of your mind. And maybe this is making you feel like you can't get past it. Maybe you're feeling like, like you're, st you're stuck in this relationship and you feel like it's going nowhere. You have to open up. You guys gotta be truthful and honest and laid out on the line. Look, trust issues with telling you so many things. Trust comes with truth, comes with, yeah, honesty, being honest, being authentic, just saying it like it is. Um, if, if something's been hurting you, you gotta, be, you gotta be open about it, you gotta tell them. They're not mind readers and you're not a mind reader. If they're feeling something, 
You deserve the truth. Okay, trust issues. A certain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. Trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure. Look at that. Safe and secure with stability. That's what's happening is you're lacking. You're lacking the trust. You're lacking um, if you can depend on this person. If this person is going to be in it for, with you all the way or if this person is going to turn their back on you and go somewhere else. And that's why you guys need to really talk it out. You got to build a stronger foundation, something more stable. Trust, we got to be able to depend on each other and re 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 rely on each other. You know, when the tough gets tough, you guys got to stand strong and be each other's backbones. Victim, maybe you guys are pointing fingers a lot. Maybe you guys just need to own up to your own mistakes and your own faults. Everybody needs to. I'm not saying just you and I'm not saying just him or her. I'm saying everybody, all parties, you, him and him, her and her, her and him. You, can, you need to own up to your mistakes. That's the only way you're going to build the trust again. And you gotta, you gotta set precedence. Like, okay, from now on, we're, we're gonna be honest about everything, no matter how much it hurts or how awkward it feels or it's how awkward it is to say those words. Ugh, I gotta say it. Because look, we have joy here. This is you finding a blissful place together. You know, within your hearts, in your relationship. No more victim mentality. Just own up to your mistakes. And if you're feeling hurt, if you're feeling like the victim, maybe you should be honest and say, look, I feel this, this, and this. I feel this, this, and this. And have the person, you know, expect that from your person as well. Say, I would like to know how you're feeling. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, putting the fault on everybody else and we're not owning up to our own feelings, our own, you know, mistakes or whatever. And then that's, that's, a, big, uh, that's a big deal breaker. If we're always pointing our fingers and expecting to just act like nothing happened, then it's just going to sit in the air for years to come and then you're always going to be thinking about it and the past is going to be always resurfacing and there's no way to get over it. It's like, it's like a, the karmic cycle of just acting like everything's good and then you guys fight and then it's good and then it's bad and it's good and then you remember things from the past and then it just creeps up on you and when you're when you're supposed to be happy and look betrayal someone was betrayed in this situation and somebody has some a lot of things they want to tell like a lot of secrets or maybe feelings that they that have been bottling up that's making them feel like they're maybe they're feeling trapped in these feelings and they want to get it out it's just hard maybe they're hard it's hard to, to trust you with their feelings. Maybe they feel like you're gonna reject them or break up with them or turn your back on them. Or maybe they feel like they're gonna turn their back on you if they tell you everything. Or I'm saying, if they tell you what they wanna tell you, maybe they're afraid of you not being able to trust them again. And maybe that's why they're gonna turn their back because they, they don't wanna be in a relationship if you can't trust them or vice versa. What well, we have, to, oh gosh, look, trust again, trust twice. Trust this part of your journey, understanding that through this pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity. Wow. A lot of trust is, is here, right? A lot. That's what we're needing right now. So you can marry this person that you want to have a baby with, but you got a lot of work to do on, on both parties. Both of you have to come together. Sacred journey. Uh, wait, didn't I? Oh, journey's here. Look, journey's here twice. Tw trust is here twice. Journey and journey. Understand again. Understanding twice. Two different decks here. Understand who you truly are. Trust, truth. This journey brings self-discovery. So you, in other words, there's some secrets here, and you guys gotta you gotta be open about it. Either secrets on your behalf or on their behalf. You have to just speak the truth no matter how painful it is and then let it out in the air and then you can move on and see what's what. Either you move on together or separately. At least you have some closure. Seek out stability. You need somebody that you can rely on, who you can build a fam family with. And so you can have this with this person, but you got a lot of work to do up here. There's a lot of pain, you know, emotional pain, a lot of... Uh, 
I don't know if you guys cheated on each other in the past or someone lied about something in the past and the, and the truth came out or you have done something and it's eating you up alive and you need to confess this. You can't get past this without being honest and working through it. Do some shadow work, you know. Do it with yourself first and then come clean. See if that helps you. Um, we have things are unclear. Yeah, right now things are in a foggy funk. You're like, I don't know what the heck to do. I, I'm feeling all sorts of stuff. I want to be, I want to be stronger with my person, but it's, I'm, everything's just like up in the air. So to put this to rest, work through this stuff here, okay? And if it's not you, you're like, what? I don't have nothing to confess. Then you know who does. And I think your intuition knows more than you give it credit for. Your intuition is picking up on the red flags and you just need to um, be honest with that person and say, look, I know there's something going up, going wrong. Can we just have a talk and let's just lay it out on the line? You know, even, even if it's easier to text each other, because I know that it can, it can work better if you're texting instead of vocally expressing your feelings. Maybe it's just so hard to express the words. You know, maybe we do better by typing things. Maybe you guys could be in different rooms and type that way. Don't knock it till you try it. Sometimes it's easier to write or type than it is to speak without crying, without anger getting in the way, or distractions, you know. Or, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hurt her feelings. Oh no, I'm gonna make her cry. Oh no, I don't wanna talk about it. At least if you're texting, it's, it's you're avoiding, you know, I know it's, it's kind of like, damn it, but we should be able to talk. All right, go ahead. But if you can find a better way to communicate without crying or pointing fingers or getting defensive, then maybe texting is a better way. I don't know. It depends on your story and how you function with your partner. Um, yeah, healthy boundaries. This is you, you basically setting precedent. Like, okay, from now on we go forward with truth. From now on we lay it on the line. From now on we hold no secrets. From now on we are in it together, transparent together. Whatever we feel, say it right then and there. Don't let it bottle up for years and years and months and months. Someone is definitely feeling let down and disappointed and betrayed a little bit. And maybe that's what's causing these trust issues. We need to come from a place of humility, humbleness. Maybe it's hard for this person to come clean to you or it's hard for you guys to talk about whatever baggage you guys had. And so maybe just have respect and consideration for their feelings. Um, be humble, maybe just be more quiet, let them do the talking. And then look, you guys can overcome this, this great challenge and get back to this euphoria where you guys are in bliss again. So I would say, yes, you can marry. I'm not saying you're going to right away because the, the point of my videos is to provide guidance and empowerment. I want to empower you to make your own life, to help you, you know, get your life. <laughs> help you jumpstart your life. I can't tell you what life to live or how to live your life, but I can give you the tools, like food for thought and how you can best navigate your life using your best judgment and your intuition. And just know that tomorrow's not set in stone. You know, whatever we see here, you can totally change for tomorrow's energy. So that's, yeah, that's the, that's the goal is for me to help give you food for thought so that you can best navigate your life and carve your own path using your own free will okay so what do you think is going to help you get through this 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 top energy right here well how, how are you going to my question to you is how are you going to change your relationship you I already gave you my little spiel here now it's up to you what's the next step for yourself that's what I'm going to start doing start asking questions at the end of my read, readings so if I remember um because that's the point it's not, it's not for me to tell you what to do or yes, give you yes and no answers. It's more to help you think of your own way out or a, a way to help you um, solve your own problem or um, put pieces to your own puzzle because at the end of the day, it's your life and this is general too. And not only that, even if it was a general, it's your life that you have to live and you have to live it how you feel it's you know more it's comfortable for you. And so I can just help you empower you and encourage you and give you the strength as much as I can okay so this right here I feel like with this stone or this gem it's like you have you guys have something going you guys can bring something beautiful into the world whether it's the love you both have to each other for each other 
the chemistry or family together, Bambino growing. I feel there's some kind of like gem or rarity between you and this person. And that's probably why you're asking about it because you want it all with this person. So if you want to get married to this person, it's up to you and the work that you're willing to put into it, no matter how challenging it is, because we do have that adversity card. You getting over a hard time, but you, you can do it. But it, two, two of them, two people need to come together to make this work. So make sure your person is in it with you 100%. You can't do it alone. This beautiful flower, again, I feel like there's some kind of some, something blossoming between you. If you guys can be honest with each other and you know, grieve and cry over what happened between you in the past. That, that, you no more pointing fingers, just, you know, own your mistakes and apologize if you need to. Um, you can achieve marriage. You can achieve a new um, story, a happy, happily ever after. Two flowers blossoming. So maybe, definitely, uh, maybe a child coming through. Maybe after you guys get all this squashed away, you guys will start vibing, you know, physically and everything will start aligning style to me this style this is like a way of how you communicate maybe look into communicating in, in a more effective way maybe which not no more pointing fingers maybe you need to uh change how you communicate more gentle be more humble like that word don't 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 use words that's going to accuse people okay just own up to your own words and if you feel a certain way say i feel and i feel that you know what we talked about hurt my feelings or blah 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 so okay that's what I have and I feel like this person is very sensitive too so just be careful with your words so that you don't push them in a corner and they feel like they can't speak with you and that's what I have thank you for your time and now we're on to number two Hi, what's up number two I hope you're well let me know how this turns out for you at the end of this video with this pile right here I do feel that you guys, you and your person, the person you're inquiring about, I do feel that there is a potential marriage with this person. You Honestly, you should check out number one. Um, this is more of a, this is more of the next phase up. This is more of progress, number one's progress. I think, I don't know if you guys have been together for a long time or you guys have met each other in another, another lifetime. I think you guys are always attracted to each other and like a divine attraction, like you guys are always gonna meet either in different lifetimes or physically, like you met maybe 10 years ago and then you, you know, rekindle again. Um, there's something that you guys are, you guys have that draws you back together. So it's like no matter if you break up, you're gonna stay together. No matter if you have ups and downs, you're gonna find your way back together. And so I do feel that there is marriage here. Um, we have core values. Seek partners whose core values align with your own. That's what I'm saying. Mirroring, you guys have like the same values, the same, like you guys, your spirits match just for some reason. Yeah, for a lot of reasons. Meet your tribe at places of interest to you. That means to me, it's like you guys always meeting each other in different shapes and forms and, and lifetimes. There's some kind of karmic cycle between you both. We have purifying, pure healing and clean energy, silence treatment and forgiveness. And I feel like this, this is the energy that you guys either just came across. Like maybe you guys had a falling out or disagreement. Maybe you guys broke up for a little bit or maybe broke up for many years or maybe you guys are just in separation in general and you're finally coming together in this lifetime. Um, maybe you separated in another lifetime and now this is you. Yeah, you are rekindling so I think that this relationship is needing some healing, it's needing some uh, finessing. Like you guys have to make a lot of adjustments. Purge, healing, clean energy, shady, forgiveness. Something, I don't know, something went down between you guys. Something just was not aligning with you both. And now you guys need to wipe it away and move forward because you guys are too alike. You guys are two alike, you guys mesh well. You guys complement each other. You have chemistry. When you guys are together, it's freaking good. When you guys are not together, it's bad, bad. It's like, man, like how do we get in this funk? We're, when we're good, we're good. When we're bad, it's like everything, all, all heck break, breaks loose, right? 
So I feel honestly that there is marriage and you guys are always going to be married or somehow committed. If you're not married by paper, you guys are always going to be tied somehow. You guys are always going to find a way back to each other. So will you marry the person you're going to have a baby with? Absolutely. Marrying, yes. You guys coming together to create something like a, uh, either a human being or just solidifying your, uh, your, your, your divine relationship. Like there's just something karmic about you guys. Um, and you have like a lot of chemistry when you, like I said, when you guys get together, this fire, this passion, you guys bring goodness to each other. And then the flip side of that, when you guys are not, you guys are toxic. You guys are toxic to each other. And I don't mean it in a violent way. I just mean that the dark cloud just pours over you like bad luck. And maybe that causes you guys to do and say things that you don't mean. And maybe that's why we have this forgiveness card here. So I feel like you need, you need to just, whew, just um, work on things. You guys are going to be stuck like glue going forward. You guys need to just get over your humps and maybe give each other a little bit of space but come back together stronger. Every time you have something like a big fat hiccup come in between you, a wedge, come back, that's an opportunity to make up and really, really connect. Really, really um, become closer than you were before so that you're not constantly breaking up or constantly hurting or constantly adding more of this negative, all these negative memories to your plate, you know? So, reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. Yeah, I feel like you guys are always like syn synchronistically, mi you know, mimicking each other. Maybe you dream about them at night, they dream about you at night, maybe you come to each other's dreams, maybe you guys, like you see like, little red flags that reminds you of them. In divine intervention, delays and detours. Oh my gosh. Divine intervention. So, so there's some kind of, like I said, like a divine karmic cycle between you guys. There's something spiritual about you both. And there's a reason why you keep coming together. So yes, marriage with the person that you're, that you're having a baby with, absolutely. But you have to, you gotta, um, re, you know, start building a stronger connection with this person physically. You know, you guys are spiritually coming together, but physically, that's a different story. Just because you're spiritual or divine soulmates doesn't mean that you guys are going to mesh well in the physical realm. So that's why you got to get that passion. You got to get that chemistry. You guys have to be in alignment. We need divine intervention, yes, to come into the 3D form and help you out this way. Everything's vibing very well with the spiritual part of things but as far as a physical part it's like there's some kind of hiccup or you guys either say things you don't mean like I said you guys argue about little stupid things and then you guys have you know hurt feelings and then you take it further and then you end up feeling that way for months at a time and you hold grudges against each other or something like that wow the duck yes let the words roll off the back if they're saying harsh words that's probably just how they communicate they probably just need to shut their mouth sometime. They probably don't know how to shut their mouths. So you just gotta let those words roll off your back. Don't let the words um, trigger you or stick to you. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt you. You know, like the duck, they have the special oil and the water just rolls right off their back. It doesn't phase them. That's why they're able to stay in the water for a long time and not, fe not feel like they're freezing or, you know, whatever. So. Yeah, don't hold grudges against your partner. They they probably just don't know how to communicate. That's all. The fish, I feel, okay, the fish I feel is, I think the fish resembles movement for me. Like you guys trying to maneuver your way through life together. So you're the orange, the other person is the purple and you guys are trying to weave and move together and f maneuver your way through life and it's just very hard to figure it out. You guys do it so well spiritually, but physically you're trying to find your groove, the motion in the ocean, trying to find your groove, your rhythm. So you just gotta keep at it. You guys work so well together, look at that. Stripes of a fish. 
And then we have these eyeballs. We got the intuition. Wow, I forgot to talk about the intuition card. The, the intuition card to me is saying to listen to your partner with your third eye, your crown chakra too. You don't have to use your words or you don't have to um, make them speak or you don't have to say, hey, let me, sp let me hear you speak. Just tell me what you're feeling. This is saying use your your senses to pick up on your person's body language and their energy. I feel like they don't know how to communicate and so they, you have to take it upon yourself to tune into them, to their energy and read them that way. If they're off and not talking to you, oh, something's off, let me go within. Let me figure out what my intuition's telling me. Oh, I feel like this person is holding back or closing off themselves. So let me just give them that space and when they're ready, they'll talk about it if they want to. Or maybe they'll text me about it. I feel like there's another way that we can communicate. We can communicate via text. Then we have this coin here. I feel like this is your lucky charm. You guys are just destined to be together. This is your, your match. This is your, your gem. This is a rare, there's a rarity between you both. And the next one is the acorn, which I feel like is growth. And look, a leaf. A leaf and an acorn together. And what, what do they have in common? A freaking tree. A tree is rooted, a, a tree is stable, rooted in the ground, grounded. So you guys need to come together. The acorn grows into a beautiful tree, which grows beautiful leaves. You guys are always going to be around each other, surrounding each other. It's like, it's, it's in the, the stars, it's in the trees, it's in the earth. It's, it's in the grounds, it's in, Mama Nature, you guys are just meant to be and meant to cross paths. That's what I have for you. Man, I feel like you guys also ignite, like you guys are so in tuned with each other's energy. That's what I'm getting with this moon card right here. All right, that's what I get for you. Thank you so much for your patience. And now we're on to number three. Thank you so much for being here, number three. Okay, friends, thank you for your patience. Number three, my gosh, I feel like, again, this is like a repeat of number two. What in the world? So number one, it's like we, we're in sequence. Number one, it's a little rocky, but if you work on something with your partner, work really work, 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 you guys can achieve commitment. Number two, man, you guys are married. You marry each other, you're like meant to cross paths over and over in this time, this lifetime and past lifetimes. It's like a karmic, repetitive cycle, rinse, repeat. But you have a lot of work to do when it comes to the physical form. You guys already have your connections spiritually. And number three is the same stuff, but different cards and other little ingredients that want to come through. So do check out number two. All right, so number three, Money issues is, is here first. Fighting over money, health, I'm sorry, fighting over money, heal root chakra, lack of trust, fear and safety, security, survival, and control. So this money issues could be that maybe this is just something that you guys are dealing with when it comes to earthly matters, like monetary matters or physical, you know, things that you can hold on to. So I feel like whatever, whatever, um, physical form, physical earthly matter you have. I think that is just what's uh, kind of like the obstacle here between you guys. I don't know, you guys having trouble um, communicating or vibing physically. I feel like the money issue is just like something of, of um, something you just put your hand on. I don't really necessarily think it has to do with actual monetary, um, yeah, I don't think it has to do with actual money. It's more like the earthly matters. Like maybe you guys, maybe it's hard for you guys to vibe physically or it's hard for you guys to see on the same page or it's hard for you to um, trust each other or it's hard, you know, we do have trust here, lack of trust, security, survival, control. Um, maybe you guys are just on two different wavelengths and you guys need to come together more. That's one message. The other message is maybe there is a money in, in your obstacle. I can't forget that, you know, we are, we do have with, you know, tapping into other energies. So maybe energy, I'm sorry, money is of the essence. Maybe it's like 
man, I don't have enough money to visit you, or man, I don't have enough money to buy a house with you, or man, I don't have enough money to support you while you stay home and take care of our children, whatever. So maybe that's just a little hiccup, but do I see marriage? I absolutely do. But you can't let this, this stuff get in the way of a relationship. This, this, this does not matter. This, this should not matter, okay? What you guys share together, love, passion, affection, connection, that is what matters. That's what's gonna help you go through. So is it marriage? Heck yes, and I'll tell you why. Look, deja vu with past life soulmates. Are you kidding me? This is like you guys always repeating the same cycle. You guys are always meeting. Your spirits are always intertwining. It's like there's, there's like a cycle here that is never going to break. It's just you guys are just meant to cross paths always. So is there marriage? There might be a spiritual marriage. I'm not sure if it's a physical um, on paper marriage. So it's up to you if you want a physical on paper wedding marriage. It's up to you because you de definitely have some kind of divine connection here. So just because you're spiritually together doesn't mean that it's going to match up in the physical wor world. So if that's what you want with this person, you got to put in work so that you guys can achieve commitment and stability together, unshakable relationship, you know, that can t stand the test of time, many lifetimes. It seems like a lot of lifetimes happening here. Um, or this could be somebody that you know from when you were younger and you guys keep coming together and now you gotta make this time count. If you guys are breaking up all the time or arguing, really try to connect with, with your person because this person is meant for you and you are meant for them. Um, we have true colors. Our first deja vu is here and they say that with deja vu, there's a reason why you're feeling this way. There's a lesson you have to learn in this energy. If you're feeling like, man, I've been here before, what is probably you, you probably experienced it in another lifetime or when you were younger or just something seems very familiar, there's a reason. So what lesson can you learn from that energy? Why do you think you're revisiting that? Is it because you have unfinished business? Is it because you felt something, you felt strongly about something or just some kind of lesson that's telling you to relive it and work through it? And we have the true colors. So you, you, maybe you guys, look, trust issues, maybe you guys are uh, sharing truth. Maybe you guys need to be more honest with, your, with each other in this marriage or this connection. Maybe that's what's gonna bring you more commitment with your person. Uh, we have careless with you. Maybe in the past you guys took each other for granted and you guys didn't really you know, value or appreciate each other and maybe that's just changing right now. Maybe you're seeing the truth. Now you're realizing that you really want to be with this person or this person really wants to be with you. So yes, I do feel, the, feel there's some kind of commitment here with the person you have a child with. We have past life soulmate. You've had many past lives together. Wow, I keep, see what I'm saying? I feel like this is a deja vu thing. Yes, you guys are always going to be in each other's lives. Regardless if it's on paper legally, you know, regardless, you guys are always going to have some kind of, um, yeah, connection. Patience, perseverance, peace, trust that the divine knows when. Divine timing. What in the world? We keep having time, time. I'm getting time, yes. And I'm getting, look, past life, past time, past. Wow. Past came out twice. Past, past. Okay, patience. you needing patience with this person? Time, a lot of time is here. Maybe right now is not the good time, but in due time, when the time is right, I keep saying time, it's going to happen for you guys. You guys are meant to cross paths over and over and over. And you, there's other layers of you. I think the reason why you keep going through this deja vu, there's more layers for you guys to learn from each other or of each other, or there's just more you need to more need to work on. You have a lot of work to do, and maybe you guys break up, come back together for a reason. There's some kind of lesson that you have to learn for the future. Seek solitude. That to me is like, yeah, look, peace. Peace came out. Wow, look, peace. Peace came out twice, back to back. So peace, just keep the peace between you guys. Maybe you guys are in a rough patch. Let everything just fall away. But be honest with each other going forward. Look, starting something brand new. I'm feeling like the tower moment shook you guys apart. 
and you guys are coming out fresh. You guys are starting a new a new journey, a new uh, a new quest together. You're gonna evolve together, and you guys are not gonna be careless anymore. You guys are gonna be, feel more. You're gonna see you're bu you're building something. Before it was like, I don't know, like your spirits. You got your spirits recognize each other, but your physical parts, like I said in part two, your physical parts have more. They're more like. They're like more the full energy. Like, oh, I'm just discovering who you are physically. Oh, I'm getting getting to know you. I'm getting used to your the way of how you you know how you how you work, how you function, how you think, how you speak, how you you know how your body language is, and it's like you you maybe how you communicate. Maybe it's hard to communicate as well. You guys are needing to communicate more, and it's just so new. So you just have to align your spirit with your body, mind, body, spirit to come together. And I feel this total commitment here, total, total marriage here, whether it's a sacred marriage or a, a legal marriage, um, this total something, something there. And it's beautiful. I feel like it's some kind of like rare gem. Maybe you guys need to revamp your love life somehow. Maybe you guys need to, uh, look, seek solitude. Maybe you guys need to go on a vacation and act like you're dating again or act like, or go, Go on a little staycation or vacation. You can have a date at home, but you guys need some kind of solitude, some kind of like peace just with you and your person, getting to know each other, understanding what your body languages are, your love languages are, all that stuff. Um, I think you're, you're missing that intimacy. Okay, your spirits want you to have that. Look, this rarity, you guys are like some kind of like, I feel like this is like a pearl to me, like some kind of gem, a, a rare find. We have this deer, this deer, this this reindeer, I don't know, uh, so, um, oh look, we have tree. So maybe you guys have some secrets in the woods. You know how the, the deers hide? They blend in with their surroundings in the forest. Maybe there's some kind of uh, um, secret or something like that and you guys need to just be honest with each other. Maybe, maybe you guys are trying to figure out how to come together physically, you know, like the, the deer and the trees. You know, you guys are, are needing that intimacy, that connection. The tree wants to be, the tree wants to just stand there ground, grounded and rooted, but the elk the, or the reindeer, the buck wants to be with the trees and hide behind the trees and be one with the tree because the, the elk is also brown, the tree is brown, you know, they want to come together, intimacy. That's what I'm getting with that. A coin came through, rare finds, movement, moving along on this journey together, coming along physically and spiritually and mentally. You guys have to stimulate each other all, like, throughout everything, like, mentally, physically, and spiritually. You guys have to be in alignment. And this is, like, movement, moving, keep on trucking. Don't let anything, you know, uh, stop you from progressing in your relationship. Um, flower gro growth. This can be a growth of a bait. Oh, there we go. The stork came through. So there's, there's potential for pregnancy and family. I was going to say that with this flower, but it's already here. So I guess I'm repeating myself. There's growth here. Either growth in a new baby being form or something brand new come, cultivating from you both. Some kind of chemistry coming together. Ooh, intimacy. Yes, that's what, probably what's happening with that deer in the tree. The truth's coming out. We talked about that. See? True colors, truths. You guys are coming together. You're trying to... You guys are, are, are learning each other. Inner truths, true colors. Yes. Wow. Okay. We have this rare find. Again, another gem. I feel like you guys are a rare couple. Like, so unbreakable, unshakable. And you guys are always going to be meeting. I look, two little things coming together. They have two little holes on each side and coming together. You ha together you have a little gem here. So you create creating a bond or a foundation or a family. You coming together to create something magical. And then this, oh, lovely, lovely popsicle here. This is you finding sweet things in life with this person. Maybe you're having a taste for the love again. You're having a taste for that passion. You want to build something sweet with this person. All right, that's what I have for you. Have a beautiful and prosperous day. If you would like to support this channel and exchange energy for energy with me, I do have the subscribe button, I'm the join button right next to the subscribe button. And the cheapest tier is 99 cents per month. It's a way to get back to the channel if you like what you see and you wanna see more of it. I would love it so much and I appreciate you to the moon and back for supporting me. 
I really, really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for deciding to do so. The link is right next to my subscriber. And like I said, I am V and I thank you. Bye-bye.